Section 40.41. Where does a urine collection for a DOT drug test take place? Forty point four one A. A urine collection for a DOT drug test must take place in a collection site meeting the requirements of this section. Section forty point four one B. If you are operating a collection site, you must ensure that it meets the security requirements of section forty point four three. Section forty point four one C. If you are operating a collection site, you must have all the necessary personnel, materials, equipment, facilities, and supervision to provide for the collection, temporary storage, and shipment of urine specimens to a laboratory and a suitable clean surface for writing. 40.41D. Your collection site must include a facility for urination described in either paragraph E or paragraph F of this section. 40.41E, the first and preferred type of facility for urination that a collection site may include is a single toilet room having a full-length privacy door within which urination can occur. 40.41E1, no one but the employee may be present in the room during the collection except for the observer in the event of a directly observed collection. 40.41E2. You must have a source of water for washing hands that, if practicable, should be external to the closed room where urination occurs. If an external source is not available, you may meet this requirement by securing all sources of water and other substances that could be used for adulteration and substitution, e.g., water faucets, soap dispensers, and providing moist towelettes outside the closed room. 40.41F. The second type of facility for urination that a collection site may include is a multi stall restroom. 40.41F1. Such a site must provide substantial visual privacy, e.g., a toilet stall with a partial length door, and meet all other applicable requirements of this section. 40.41F2. If you use a multi stall restroom, you must either forty point four one F two sub one secure all sources of water and other substances that could be used for adulteration and substitution, e.g., water faucets, soap dispensers, and place a bluing agent in all toilets or secure the toilets to prevent access or 40.41F2 sub 2. Conduct all collections in the facility as monitored collections. See section 40.69 for procedures. This is the only circumstance in which you may conduct a monitored collection. 40.41F3. No one but the employee may be present in the multi stall restroom during the collection, except for the monitor in the event of a monitored collection or the observer in the event of a directly observed collection. 40.41G. A collection site may be in a medical facility, a mobile facility, e.g. a van, a dedicated collection facility, or any other location meeting the requirements of this section. Section 40.43. What steps must operators of collection sites take to protect the security and integrity of urine collections? 40.43a. Collectors and operators of collection sites must take the steps listed in this section to prevent unauthorized access that could compromise the integrity of collections. 40.43b. As a collector, you must do the following before each collection to deter tampering with specimens. 40.43b1. Secure any water sources or otherwise make them unavailable to employees, e.g., turn off water inlet, tape handles to prevent opening faucets. 40.43b2. Ensure that the water in the toilet is blue. 
40.43b3 ensure that no soap, disinfectants, cleaning agents, or other possible adulterants are present. 40.43b4 inspect the site to ensure that no foreign or unauthorized substances are present. 40.43b5 tape or otherwise secure shut any movable toilet tank top or put bluing in the tank. 40.43b6 ensure that undetected access e.g. through a door not in your view is not possible. 40.43b7 secure areas and items e.g. ledges, trash receptacles, paper towel holders, under sink areas that appear suitable for concealing contaminants and 40.43b8 Recheck the items in paragraphs B1 through 7 of this section following each collection to ensure the site's continued integrity. 40.43C If the collection site uses a facility normally used for other purposes, like a public restroom or hospital examination room, you must, as a collector, also ensure before the collection that 40.43C1 Access to collection materials and specimens is effectively restricted and 40.43 C2 The facility is secured against access during the procedure to ensure privacy to the employee and prevent distraction of the collector. Limited access signs must be posted. 40.43 D as a collector, you must take the following additional steps to ensure security during the collection process. 40.43D1 To avoid distraction that could compromise security, you are limited to conducting a collection for only one employee at a time. However, during the time one employee is in the period of drinking fluids in a shy bladder situation, see section 40.193B you may conduct a collection for another employee. 40.43D2 To the greatest extent you can, keep an employee's collection container within view of both you and the employee between the time the employee has urinated and the specimen is sealed. 40.43D3 Ensure that you are the only person in addition to the employee who handles the specimen before it is poured into the bottles and sealed with tamper-evident seals. 40.43D4 In the time between when the employee gives you the specimen and when you seal the specimen, remain within the collection site. 40.43D5 Maintain personal control over each specimen and the CCF throughout the collection process. 40.43E. If you are operating a collection site, you must implement a policy and procedures to prevent unauthorized personnel from entering any part of the site in which urine specimens are collected or stored. 40.43E1. Only employees being tested, collectors, and other collection site workers, DERs, employee and employer representatives authorized by the employer, e.g. employer policy, collective bargaining agreement, and DOT agency representatives are authorized persons for the purpose of this paragraph, e. 40.43 e. 2. Except for the observer in a directly observed collection or the monitor in the case of a monitored collection, you must not permit anyone to enter the urination facility in which employees provide specimens. 40.43E3. You must ensure that all authorized persons are under the supervision of a collector at all times when permitted into the site. 40.43E4. You or the collector may remove any person who obstructs, interferes with, or causes a delay in the collection process. 40.43E5. 